Hello everyone, welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Today I'm going to be starting a brand new open tag. It's going to be a weekly tag and it's going to be Sheffield Sunday. Pretty straightforward, show a Sheffield knife, whatever it may be, fixed blade, camp knife, locking knife, slip joint on a Sunday. Um, and we've seen lots of different open tags go around throughout the weeks. We've had um, show your trappers, show stockmen, Swiss army knives. We've had sod busters canoes, all that sort of thing, but I haven't come across one that's for Sheffield only knives. So that's why I want to jump on this tag. Start it off. I hope a lot of you guys will join in and show some of your wonderful Sheffield knife collections. Um, and we're going to take a look at one today from Arthur Wright and Sons in Sheffield. And I bought this from Congi's Knife Sales here in the UK. Now he is a secondhand slash uh, custom knife sort of retailer. It is run by Mark Congerton. You can see down here, you've got his website at the bottom and the web the address up here and he does some fantastic deals he's really fair with his prices has some wonderful stuff you might not usually see and very recently he's had some great sheffield knives on there and i picked this one up from him from a very very reasonable price so this is a genuine stag arthur wright and sons barlow this was on there for 50 pound that's it for genuine stag we have a closed length then on this standard Barlow from Arthur Wright & Sons of 1, 2, 3, 3.6, nearly 3.75 inches closed. We have these wonderful nickel silver bolsters that are pinched and nearly squared off. We have brass pins holding this all together. You can see that wonderful stag on there. You can see the grooves, how thick it is, the natural coloration throughout the stag. Same on the reverse side. You can even see the, the hammer marks on the pins, which is great to see from a handcrafted knife. Pins, I will say, a little bit raised, but that's generally what you get with stag because it's not a flat material. It is very hard to work with. We have a carbon steel back spring. You can see picking up a little bit of patina here and there, which I'll probably get cleaned off at some point. We also have brass liners. And I mean, just look at the thickness of the stag on there. It's not even, it's a natural material, and I think that really lends itself to being such a beautiful knife. Again, nickel silver bolsters on this side, no lines, no nothing fancy, just a nice little pinch at the top. And as true sort of classic British Barlow, there is no half stop on this. Tang has been nicely sort of rolled over, so it's not sharp in your pocket. Hafting, absolutely beautiful. There's no sharp edges on this at all anywhere around the knife. I can't feel anything, it's all wonderfully smooth around the outside of the stag. Very sort of chunky Barlow then to have the stag on there. You can see right at the base of the knife, we're nearly at three quarters of an inch wide, but then at the top with the bolster, it's less than half an inch. So you get that really nice grip in the hand, being sort of the nice big swell end as the British Barlow has. We have a main clip point blade on here, and you can see the Arthur Wright and Sons tang stamp there, A Wright, Sheffield, England. Nothing fancy about the clip point, just a nice working British clip. Nice belly on the blade and you can see that aggressive swoop on the tip of the clip point. Now this is a second hand knife so it has been sharpened by the previous owner and they put a very nice edge on there. It's nearly mirror polish all the way around and it is screaming sharp. Now this is a carbon steel blade, C70 carbon steel, so very traditional steel for any sort of Sheffield knife to come in, especially for Arthur Wright & Sons. Most of their knives do come in a C70 carbon steel. In the hand then, probably one of the most comfortable knives I own, just because of that stag. It really fills the hand. You can choke up on this Ricasso or the kick here, and you have absolute control over that blade. And with it being a British Barlow, the walk and talk on it is is ridiculous. We're about an eight pull, I would say, nearly eight and a half, and then a really nice snap on the open. No half stop, so it's a nice cam tank, smooth open and close all the way around. Now, I am just about able to pinch this open, but for some of you, it's probably going to be a nail neck use only. I mean, just listen to this. Such an affirmative open there. Clip point blade, then we have a full tip to tang length of 1 to 2.6, nearly 2.7 inches. And then we have a cutting edge of just shy of 2.5 inches. So 
Good to see a British Barlow is keeping with the tradition and being a UK legal carry. Nice clean nail neck, sort of the crescent moon style, nice and deep as well, so it's easy to get your nail in there and easy to get enough purchase to open that blade. Blade stock, nice and chunky on this. And that's something I really like to see for a British Barlow, is it's going to be a working knife. Especially if you get one in the wood scales or in their budget, sort of, not even plastic, it's like a jigged... I'm, not, I'm going to say Delrin, I know it's not Delrin, but that's that kind of material. And with a blade stock like this, you know it's going to be a working knife and it's going to get you through the day. You're not going to have any concerns about it closing on you because I'm having to put a lot of force on there to try and get that to even move a tiny bit. We do have a sharpening choil on here as well. Quite faint, but it does sort of aid against the smile. But you can see this has caught a little bit. So the sharpening choil could have been a little bit deeper. But overall, an absolutely fantastic Sheffield made Barlow from Arthur Wright and Sons. Blade centering is favouring the show side ever so slightly, but we don't have any blade rub at all. It's not catching the liners. You can see there's no rub on the blade. So centering, would I like it to be right down the middle? Of course, who wouldn't? But as long as it's not touching the sides, I haven't got an issue at all. And you can see those wonderful brass liners in there. You can see the brass pin in this one that's gone all the way through the knife, holding it all together. Really wonderful design. And I love how they use a carbon back spring as well as a carbon blade. So as with use, it's going to patina on the blade and then the spring will also patina while it's in your hand. You know, your natural um, body oil or sweat will patina that as well. I can see why. Got a little bit up here from it being in the palm of my hand and then a bit up here where sort of my, my thumb would sit. But overall, very, very happy with my pickup. If you've never checked out Conry's knife sales, I really recommend you do. He's a wonderful guy, he's great to deal with, and he's got some absolute screaming bargains on there. Everything you could want, there's Sheffield stuff, old American stuff, Rough Riders to really high-end custom knives, and yeah, he deserves all the love he gets for his, for his uh, shop, it's fantastic. But there we go, guys. That is my first Sheffield Sunday new open tag. Hope a lot of you will join in and show your Sheffield knife collections. But I really hope you enjoyed this. Please be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.